If Solskjaer's winning run as Manchester United manager was going to come to an end, that's not a bad way for it to come to an end. Man United coming back from 2-0 down with two late goals. A real spirited comeback to snatch a draw from defeat. But ultimately, it was a disappointing performance. We'll talk about individual players. Let me know what you think about you know, Solskjaer's substitutions and the game in itself. But Manchester United went into that game tonight against Burnley at home with eight wins from eight. We were flying as high as we've ever been since Fergie retired. And we went into that match and we knew how Burnley were going to set up against us. We knew they were going to sit deep, sit deeper, sit as deep as possible, sit behind their line basically, and then try and get the goal, try and poach a goal. It's exactly what Burnley did. Unfortunately for Andreas Pereira, it came through a mistake that he made. Pereira, a player who Solskjaer has been talking about this week, who was brought into the team, he made the mistake. Jones, a bit of a hospital pass from Jones, but Pereira should have been aware that there would have been at least one or two midfielders around him because Burnley were pressing high the whole game. They snatched the ball off him. They bammed it in. 1-0 Burnley. And you're thinking, shit. And unfortunately for United, that didn't change. Because United failed to break Burnley down. We know they're going to sit deep. You know Tom Heaton's going to have a blinder of a performance. And he might have conceded too. But again, he had a blinder of a performance against United today. But we know what Burnley are going to do. They're going to sit in their banks of four and you've got to try and break them down by passes between the lines. Now, Paul Pogba, up until the last, you know, he did score that goal. He had a couple of chances he made. For me, he didn't do enough. But the player who certainly didn't do enough was Juan Mata. These are the matches for where I feel, I felt, Juan Mata had his place in the squad to change, to influence. Teams that sit deep need a crafty, guily player like Mata who can find those balls in behind, but he was so ineffective. You know, Solskjaer made, I suppose, wholesale changes. Martial was a forced change through injury, bringing Lukaku up front, forcing Rashford out on the left, but Mata played there on the right instead of Jesse Lingard. And Christ, did that make a difference, not only to how United played without Lingard, but when he came on, did Lingard make the difference down the right-hand side? One of United's most impactful players under Solskjaer. And that right flank, we saw how weak it was. Ashley Young doing an Ashley Young performance. Not doing much wrong. Certainly not doing much right. And then you see Juan Mata being effect ineffective as well. And those two, they nullified our threat down there. And then United, you know, for Solskjaer, a manager who... We saw his training videos at Molden when he sh shoot. He's telling players to shoot so often on the edge of that box. We were just passing it round sideways. Nobody wanted to take the responsibility of trying to knock it in behind. And it felt like United were just going to bang their heads against the brick wall of Tom Heaton tonight. But Jesse Lingard won the penalty and Paul Pogba converted it beautifully. But still at that point, you felt, can United do it? And we did it. Another wonderful cross went in. I think that one was from Ashley Young. Probably his best cross of the match, certainly. I think it was Rashford got the header. Another great save by Heaton. But Lindelof was there to spank it in. 2-2. Two -two. And United have come back. And, you know, it's just a strange result in that sense. Because, on the one hand, we've just dropped two points against Burnley. Solskjaer's winning run has stopped. But on the other hand, United have just come from 2-0 down to get a 2 all draw. In the last 10 minutes of a game. And that is the United way. And we did that quite often under Mourinho. But in his first attempt at doing it, Solskjaer did it. Remember, tonight was the first time that Solskjaer had been behind as Manchester United manager. And for just to see the United players put that sort of last 10 minutes in. You know, we were knocking on the door all night long. Crosses were going in. Shots were going in occasionally. We weren't creating enough, but we were threatening the whole game. Every time we'd sent a cross in, Bernie sent it back out. But we didn't stop. And we got the point I feel we deserved, certainly. It could it have been three? You know, we didn't have the chance towards the end there. Sanchez overhit his pass and it was kind of killed the momentum. But just to see United do that at the first opportunity under Solskjaer is another tick in the box for me. You know, Solskjaer is going to have so many tests coming up in the next few weeks. We've got PSG, Liverpool, City, Arsenal, Chelsea. Some serious big games coming up. But... Just as much as the big games are important, these games against Burnley, Huddersfield, Brighton, Fulham, they're just as important because for momentum, you have to ensure that you don't just let these games slip. And Man United nearly let it completely slip tonight. 
Not through the want of trying as such, but we, there was a real lack of creative edge towards the final third. And that's what you need against these teams that are going to sit deep. You know, Sean Dutch's Burnley, they're giving a blueprint to teams for how they should play against United, I suppose. That's how I want teams to play against United. We came out the blocks at Old Trafford again, and you did feel that that goal was inevitable. I still felt the whole way through that goal was inevitable. And United and Solskjaer's United proved me right towards the end there. You know, looking at individual performances, personally, I don't really want to see Rashford displaced to the left to accommodate for Lukaku. I think if Lukaku is going to start, start him on the right-hand side like he did against Arsenal. Rashford's finishing tonight skewed a few chances. Not the Rashford we've seen in the last few games, but given how good he's been, you can give him the grace of that. I thought Paul Pogba could have affected the game more, but I think the real issue we had in attack was Juan Mata and the lack of Jesse Lingard. Those two combined took so much away from United's attack that it became very limp and we didn't we weren't direct enough. And Martial not playing in that team has certainly made us less direct. And you saw how important those two are to United's direct attacking football. Lindelof coming up with a goal. Happy to see that. Phil Jones question marks. But obviously Solskjaer doesn't know what centre-back he trusts to play alongside Lindelof because he's playing Jones there and he's playing Bailly there as well. And I'm sure Smalling might get a look in now as well. Overall, you just, you know, to, to finish up, I suppose, You've got to be disappointed because United just dropped two points against Berlin when we've beaten Arsenal, buzzing, everyone's riding high, still on the crest of the wave. But we came back from a, def from a losing position at Old Trafford in front of the home fans to score two late goals and get a draw when we all thought a defeat was coming. That's a positive in itself and it's another aspect of Solskjaer's management that we need to see. Because we're gonna, we're not gonna be. <laughs> we're certainly gonna be going behind against probably PSG, maybe City as well. United need to show that spirit, and at the first knockings, we showed it. We shouldn't have let it happen, but we showed it, and that's a different side of management that we hadn't seen so far, but that we've got a little bit of a glimpse in towards tonight. What I want to see in United's next couple of games as well, especially Fulham, who spanked Brighton four two. We can't let that happen, like Burnley. Can't let Burnley sit there, defend well, and, sne and sneak their chance. We've got to finish our chances early. Score early, and Burnley would have had to come out. That would have changed the game completely. Had Rashford scored that opportunity that Lukaku put him through, would have been a completely different game. But United have got to score quick against those teams, because still, by the looks of it, we can't break them down. We can, in the last 10 minutes maybe, but the penalty is what changed the game for us. We didn't have anything from open play really until that point. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments below, as always. But United, 2 all against Burnley. Solskjaer, he can do it the United way, and we can score in Solskjaer time as well. Let me know what you think about the match in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.